Okay, welcome to another video. Um, hopefully, today, we'll be getting the engine in. Um, I've actually worked Monday and Tuesday off for it next week as well, so uh, over this long weekend, we should get quite a lot done. Um, if not, get it up and running, but we'll see. We might. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I've got a little bit more tying up to do in the engine bay. Um, like I said before in the other video, it's, I'm not going to tidy it right up now. Um, because I got to crack on and get this car back on the road. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to strip everything out, tidy it all right up, um, paint the engine bay even. But that's not going to happen this time. Um, what I'm going to do uh, for the meantime with the fuse box, um, I put that heat shield in on there before. It's just sort of temporary. Um, I've got some better stuff to go on. Dimpled stuff. Um, I've used a bit of it before for the exhaust shielding, um, sort of underneath for rain stamp and that. Um, but I'm going to use some of this and shape it all round uh, to cover the fuse boxes up. It just look a bit better until in the summer when I, I relocate the fuse boxes completely um, and move the turbo back back to that sort of corner. Um, which would give me room for an air filter, an air box there where the uh, where the fuse boxes are now. Um, as to where I'm going to really take the fuse boxes, we'll see. I mean, not a massive amount of room this side, but we'll, we'll, we'll make some room. But yeah, that's not going to happen this time. Um, like I say, this, this heat shielding, shielding is going to go on first. And a quick tidy up, and uh, then we'll bring the engine through. So that's, that's what we've done. Um, I know it's not pretty, but just remember it's only temporary. All that will be being sorted out in the summer. Well, that's the adapter plate all bolted up now. Yeah. Do the flex plate now, the adapt, hub adapter and the fly wheel. Bit of thread lock on there. There's the adapter hub on there, and uh, obviously he's got the pilot bearing in the middle of there rather than in the engine itself. So we'll just put the flywheel and the clutch on now. That's the flywheel on there now. And there's a little bit of surface rust, but that's just where it's been sort of sat. Be right. That's the clutch. It now. It's all ready to go in. I'll set the other camera up now and then uh, we'll put it on time lapse when it goes in. So that's the engine in there. It was a bit of a pain to get in, uh, as they always are, but it's in there now. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to fill it up with oil, um, crank it over just to make sure we uh, we get oil pressure, and then I can go on putting it all back together. But it's in there, that's the main thing. Okay, so what I was going to do today is put the um, Put the gearbox back up on and in um but i think what i've decided what to do now instead is get the engine running um because obviously if there's any problems i'd have to take all the gearbox out again so uh i'm gonna put the engine together enough just to give it a quick bit of a test run um i've already put the upper intake manifold on and the water bridges um i'll go on and put the sorry lower intake manifold i'll go on and put the uh I'll go on and put the upper in that manifold on now um, and then I'll literally fire it up for literally a second or two because also there's no turbo on there so it'll be really noisy um, oh, pissing neighbours off enough as it is so uh, literally a few seconds um, just to make sure we got good oil pressure um, then I'll put the turbo on 
um because i actually quieted it down a fair bit you'd be surprised um and then i'll run it for a little bit longer uh obviously i can't run it for that long even with the turbo on there um because there's no radiator but um we'll run it up enough just just to see how it's running so yeah i'll do that now i'll put the other inlet manifold on now and uh we, we get on and do that okay that's the all the uh upper intake manifold on fuel rails um basically it's just that's it it's ready to go um so what i'll do um like i said i'll crank it over first of all without the uh fuse in the fuel pump just to get a bit of oil pressure up and then i'll put the fuel pump fuse in fire it up for a few seconds like it's herbal yeah fingers crossed Okay, I've just quickly bolted the turbo up uh, so we don't have oil pick all over the ground again. Um, it probably won't be much quieter because I've still got the uh, I've still got the wastegate to put on yet. It's, it's just an open pipe at the moment, um, so the turbo won't even be spinning either. But at least I won't get oil pissing everywhere. So I'm going to fire it up again now, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Basically, what happened there, this oil feed has actually split internally because oil was pissing out of there and it's gone all down and underneath, absolutely pissing out. So, um, I'm going to have to go up. Luckily, there's a there's a motorsport place not too far from, from here. Um, I'll nip up there tomorrow morning. That's Merlin Motorsports. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll nip up there tomorrow morning and get a new feed line. Um, yeah, so that's a bit of a pain, but but at least the engine's running. That's the main thing. It's running. It sounds sweet. No knocking. No horrible noises. Good oil pressure. So it's not all bad, but it's just annoying about that line. Okay, so I'll wrap this video up there. Um, yeah, so tomorrow morning I'll nip up there and get that uh, get that other turbo oil feed. We'll get it on there, and um, we'll, we'll bring all that to you in the in the next video. Um, yeah, still obviously still got to get all the gearbox up, um, finish putting everything back together in the cooler, radiator, uh, weld radiator support back on. Um, like I said, put the transmission back in. Um, various other little little odds and sods. Um, yeah, and then uh, do a bit of tuning because obviously we're, we're, it's going to be running a lot more boost now. Um, I was at sort of ten eleven psi at the most, and um, now with the weights the springs i've put in that wastegate um it should be at least 14 psi base so uh yeah so obviously i'm gonna have to tune it some more for, for uh for the increased boost um but yeah i'll document all that in the next video until um, then
take a steady you know the you know the drill like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time